Dr. Payton here, week two of our pain discussion. Last week we talked about turmeric and turmeric paste. This week we're going to talk about my second most favorite addition to my supplements when it comes down to decreasing pain and that is CBD. CBD comes in all forms. It comes in creams, it comes in tinctures, it comes in edibles, all sorts. But that's not what we're going to discuss today. Two things we're going to talk about. One, what is CBD? And two, how does it work? Here we go. First, a little bit of the background of cannabis, marijuana, hemp, etc. So let's start with cannabis. Cannabis is the classification of the plant. Cannabis is grown in a way that we can pull two species off of it. One is marijuana and the other one is hemp. Marijuana and hemp both produce CBD. Marijuana though will give you CBD that has high levels of THC. I'm sure you've heard people talk about THC. That is the ingredient that's going to get you high. That is the ingredient that is illegal. When we look at hemp, we get CBD from hemp. But CBD is going to have, in coming from the hemp plant, is going to have less amounts of THC. This is where we have the legal amounts of THC found. Those CBD um, constituents there are going to be used in the CBD creams and the CBD tinctures that I just talked about. Now relative to use, CBD is going to act in the same way that the turmeric did. It acts on the proteins and the enzymes that increase the inflammation, thus causing our pain. This is why over time CBD is taken topically, it's taken sublingually, and you will have cumulative, like with turmeric, the effect of the diminishment of the pain. It just simply works. It works on the pain centers. Our bodies were born, we were born with receptors for the cannabidiols. CBD, just a little bit, CBD A equals cannabidiol. So I'll say it one more time. CBD is short for cannabidiol. That's the long term that we all talk about when we're talking about CBD. So I highly recommend CBD. It just works here in America. It is legal. The agriculture bill last year approved CBD up to a certain amount of THC, 0.3%, but that's a whole nother discussion. I highly recommend it. If you're looking to look for a small change relative to your pain, I suggest CBD. Small changes.